Hey everybody, my name is Frank with Cleaning Bougie Auto Detailing here in Hemet, California. And in today's video, I'm gonna share another quick story uh, of this customer. I recently coded his vehicle back last year. I just had some time to uh, create the content, you know, uh, you know, get the pictures in, edit them, and things like that. So you're going to see, um, you know, this slideshow presentation of the customer I coded uh, his vehicle for, and it's going to be a 2022 Stingray uh, Corvette edition. Uh, so enjoy the presentation, and I'll see you guys after it's played. That is a picture of the sponsored ad I am running right now currently on Facebook. And that is the actual Corvette I coded last summer using uh, System X coding, um, you know, for his vehicle. Okay, so it was a six year coding. Um, he did pay for a uh, level one correction and the coding itself. However, um, there were a few rock chips on the vehicle unfortunately because he drove it from Kentucky all the way to California um, you know he uh, he induced some types of uh, some type of chips on it and uh, I did let him know but he was like hey you know what um, I don't expect my car to be perfect uh, and um, you know it's okay I do drive it so you know it is what it is but I need this car coated so he scheduled his car uh, to be coated and this customer, like I said, he saw my uh, social media posts on Facebook uh, through the ad. He reached out to me and uh, he already knew what a ceramic coating was. Uh, so it was, it wasn't, um, you know, it wasn't hard for me to explain things to him. He already knew what it was. He just wanted to know what level of coating would I recommend to him. And, uh, you know, it came with a Carfax registration warranty. So uh, for those of you that don't know, some uh, coatings, do come with Carfax registration warranties and others don't. Okay, so if you are looking to get your car coded um, and you want that Carfax registration coding, um, you know, feel free to reach out to me and I'll go over a few things with you. Um, prices, level of service, packages, and so that way you guys get the best service you can get for your vehicle, okay? But uh, yeah, so for this customer, he did want the Carfax registration. He said, hey Frank, you know, sometimes I'm, you know, I don't know if I like this car or not. Uh, the market is very hot for used vehicles. Uh, as you guys see, the rise of, um, I guess you could say, car buying is so big right now, so popular. So uh, he was able to get a great deal. He was able to get it for the MSRP price, um, you know, and not pay a single penny more. Uh, so that's why he flew all the way to Kentucky to go get it and drive it back home okay to avoid all those other expenses that here in california unfortunately people are just overpricing the vehicles okay so i had one customer who i serviced uh you know his vehicle uh, not too long ago and he told me that a buddy of his um at mercedes uh was um you know sh you know showing vehicles to somebody and um you know they wanted this vehicle so bad that they ended up paying, um, you know, almost double the price of the MSRP because they didn't want anybody else to take it. So that's how that's how uh, much attention we're getting from 
the the car industry right now, especially when you're actually purchasing vehicles. So if you're someone that is um, going out purchasing vehicles, uh, you know, for yourself, whether you want a new one, a used one, and things like that, uh, make sure you do your research. <laughs> Don't be someone that is going to overpay uh, for something that you can get somewhere else, even if you have to drive or fly out there. I think it's much more convenient, um, you know, because you're avoiding certain costs that, quite honestly, doesn't make a difference uh, whether you get those or not, right? So, um, yeah, but for this customer, like I said, um, he wanted the level one correction plus the six year coding. So, uh, you know, I gave him that with the Carfax registration. Uh, it came with the warranty paper, it came with everything he needed um, for the vehicle, you know, to be serviced and detailed and coded. Okay, so um, as, as you guys saw on the slideshow, you know, it was a beautiful red Corvette. Um, and I really enjoy the new models they came out with. Um, they actually look like a high-end luxury vehicle. And the inside of it, you guys, is amazing. If you guys haven't seen the new Corvette, um, you know, make sure to, you know, look it up on Instagram or Google. You guys are going to be blown away. Okay, so now uh, do I recommend... Um, you know, getting your car coded if it's brand new, uh, absolutely. Um, you know, if you do, if you're watching and you do have a new vehicle, um, you know, that is the best time probably to get your car coded because it's fresh, it's new, the clear coat is in very good condition, there's no paint issues. Um, you know, it's going to be a lot easier to service your vehicle than someone else that has a 2013, 2014. Uh, for example, a 2013 Model S, right, from Tesla. Uh, there's going to be more uh, clear coat that if it needs to be removed for whatever reason on a new vehicle, you're going to have that that nice clear coat where it, you don't have to cut as much uh, to get to those scratches or swirls. Compared to a older vehicle, uh, you might have to remove uh, you know, a good chunk of layer of clear coat uh, in order to get to those scratches and swirls to be removed. And now, uh, you know, you're kind of compromising the paint a little bit uh, and it can, you know, you can actually sometimes burn through the clear coat um, and, go, you know, go straight through the paint. OK, so it really depends on, um, you know, what your I guess you could say how long you want to keep your car or like, you know, if you want your car to be protected. Um, now, I'm not saying that if you have an old vehicle like a 1966 Chevy, uh, you know, Camaro SS or whatever, um, you know, or a Dodge Challenger, you know, 1970 or whatever. I'm not, I'm not downing those vehicles. I mean, obviously you might have some restoration on it and, uh, you might have repainted it and you just want to get it coated. And so everything's going to look fresh and things like that. So yeah, those vehicles are fine. Um, I'm just speaking to those that I guess you could say have a different expectation um, where they think that, um, you know, their vehicles are salvageable, right? When it comes to, uh, you know, applying a ceramic coating and they, they, they uh, you know, I've had customers where I encounter that uh, they think that a ceramic coating is going to repair or restore clear coat. And that's simply not the case. Um, if you're someone that is watching and you have clear coat failure, what I mean by that, it's starting to peel. Uh, you see white blotches all over your car. Um, you know, there's absolutely nothing you can do other than uh, to to remove all that and get your car repainted and re uh, you know reapply the clear coat itself. Okay, but uh, if you're watching and you have a good vehicle, you have a not a not a new or used vehicle, but um, you know uh, you know, but you're looking to get it coated and you want to. Uh, protect your vehicle, uh, you know, and its paint and make it, you know, durable and last for many years to come. Then a ceramic coating is a great option for you. Um, you know, you're not going to spend a lot of money compared to a PPF or a wrap or a clear bra and things like that. Um, you know, but you're going to get a good service at a good price and it's going to last for a long time. Okay, so that is it for uh, today's video, you guys. I just wanted to share that nice Corvette I did, uh, you know, a couple months back. And, uh, you know, the customer reached out to me not too long ago, actually, and he said that the car looks amazing still. He keeps up with his, um, you know, maintenance washes. He bought the products I recommended for him to, you know, maintain the vehicle looking clean. And most importantly, um, he does not go to the car washes 
um, you know, to wash the vehicle. He actually does it himself or he hired somebody else to do it for him, um, you know, and to wash it by hand. Okay, so um, as long as the car is performing well with the coating, there's absolutely no reason why you can suspect that things are going to go bad. Okay, so uh, that is it for today's video. So if you guys are looking to get your car coated, um, you know, sometime within uh, the near future, this coming month, next month, uh, you know, spots are filling up very fast. So make sure to, uh, you know, schedule your appointment as soon as you can. So that way you can reserve your spot before it's gone. Okay, guys, and make sure to, uh, you know, schedule your car for a free coating inspection. Um, like I mentioned in the last video I did uh, with that Chevy Blazer that was red, uh, you guys might have seen all the swirl marks on it. Um, the car that, you know, she paid, I think it was $300 for a ceramic coating service that obviously you guys saw was not even a ceramic coating. It was a spray sealant. So, uh, it's very important. And I, and I, I absolutely encourage you guys, if you guys are watching, make sure to get your car uh, inspected for a ceramic coating service first and foremost, before you commit yourself to anything that involves ceramic coating. There's a bunch of detailers out there now that claim to do ceramic coating services. And quite honestly, to tell you the truth, I have been getting calls stating that, um, you know, is this a real coating? And when I asked them and I kind of, you know, just ask questions, really, the customer does not even know what they paid for. Okay, so that to me is a huge red flag, um, you know, and I do some testing on the car and sometimes it turns out to be a coating but there's a bunch of swirls or, uh, you know, sometimes it turns out to be not a coating. It's probably a spray wax or a sealant. And unfortunately that customer paid three, four hundred dollars, uh, you know, for something that was a spray, uh, when it should be a actual coating. Okay. So if you guys want to learn more information about the free coating inspection, feel free to reach out to me through all the information down below that I provide for you guys to give me a call to get in contact with me so that way you can get your free coating inspection first and foremost before scheduling for a ceramic coating service it's absolutely free uh you know if you guys are able to come to my location or if we can schedule something for me to go out to you that's great um but to like just to make it clear you guys i cannot give you a price unless i see the car first okay anybody that is just giving you flat out prices that they're going to say, oh, it's going to cost this much because I know your car. I, I know I don't need to see it. That's a huge, huge red flag. Avoid that at all costs. OK, there's no detailer in the world that would, uh, you know, especially a professional detailer that would say and be committed to this. How This is how much your car is going to cost to be coated and to be corrected or polished or whatever without even seeing the vehicle first. Okay, so if you're getting quotes for detailers uh, from detailers stating that they do coatings for dirt cheap prices and they don't need to see your car first, I'm just letting you guys know that is a huge red flag, at least to my to me and myself. Um, you know, I wouldn't pay somebody to do my vehicle unless they see it first. Okay, guys, so uh, that is it for today's video. I know I went off a little bit on the tantrum, but. I just care about uh, the customers I service and the people out there that are looking to get a professional service and they're not getting it done correctly. Okay, guys, so try to, um, you know, schedule something with me if you guys can uh, to get your car, uh, you know, inspected and then we can come up with the price and there's always rooms. Uh, there's always some room for options and suggestions in case, um, you know, price is a big issue. Okay, guys, so. That is it for today's video. Again, make sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with your friend, your neighbor, your loved one, um, you know, your mom, your dad, whoever. And so that way they understand, um, you know, what a ceramic coating is and why people are getting a ceramic coating. And to first and foremost, do research before you get your vehicle coated and serviced. All right, guys. So that is it for today's video. Uh, thank you so much for watching and make sure to check out all the social media platforms down below um, to get in contact with me for that free coding inspection. All right, guys, take care, enjoy your day, and I'll see you guys on the next video.